Hey everyone, Ben here. I hope you enjoy today's video. If you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're trying to grow on the platform and turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you did like today's video, then don't forget to hit a like down below because it helps other people to find our videos. And don't forget to comment down below on any suggestions for content that you have or comment about today's content. Let me know what you thought. Let's get into the video. All right, so earlier this year, I did a video on the best streaming settings for the AMD encoder. Um, and in the past couple of months, I upgraded my graphics card to an NVIDIA one, like back to an NVIDIA one. And I wanted to go over the NVIDIA settings for streaming. Now, the stream settings for NVIDIA are a lot more basic than AMD, but there's a lot of information that's just not publicized about streaming with an NVIDIA graphics card. So hopefully I can go over a few things and explain a few things and hopefully you'll start to understand. Uh, but don't forget to turn on the notification bell because I do stream here on YouTube every day or every other day. Um, and this software I use is called Prism Live Studio. It's another form of OBS. But this form of OBS allows me to multi-stream or multi-simulcast between Twitch and YouTube at the same time. Uh, which is what I generally do now. And for those wondering, yes, I am a Twitch affiliate on my main Twitch account, but I don't use my main Twitch account. I use a secondary one uh, that I created for the purpose of multi-streaming. So it's okay. But if you are an affiliate on Twitch, do not multi-stream. You can get your affiliate status removed. So now we've gone over that. Um, but let's jump into the settings. So like I said, the NVIDIA and NVENCAN settings are pretty basic but there's a lot of stuff you need to know so you know exactly why you're setting these options so immediately when you open your um, video settings don't forget to set when you set to streaming go to advanced from simple because if you do simple it goes to meh go to advanced advanced will then open up each streaming recording audio and replay buffer options to you so you can go deeper into those options now, for the encoder, you want to try and set it to NVIDIA NVENC H.264 new. Um, you may have the option for H.265. Whilst that is a better encoder, most platforms do not support it. So if you try and stream using H.265, it's probably not going to work. Rate control. You want to set that to CBR. CBR is high, the best one. So CBR stands for constant bitrate, meaning if you have a stable internet connection, which if you're a streamer, you should have a stable internet connection, then it will constantly transmit at the bitrate that you set, meaning it's a constant bitrate. Now the bitrate is going to be a bit funky. This is going to change based upon which platform you're streaming to. So most people stream to Twitch, in which case the maximum they recommend for 1080p is 6,000. However, you can push it more towards 8000, which is a combination of your audio bitrate and your video bitrate. So I've set my video bitrate to 7500. This allows me to stream at the highest possible quality I can whilst keeping my audio intact. Because the audio is, I believe, uh, it's like 168 or something bitrate. So it just leaves a little bit of wiggle room in case there is a little bit of instability. A uh, keyframe interval. So this is kind of an interesting one. So the keyframe interval, for those who don't know what it is, is the the time it takes for you to do an action and for your audience to see it. It's that time. Now you may be thinking, well, you set it to two, so you want a two second delay. You do. See, the thing is, if you set this to zero, it goes to auto, which means it will give you a delay of about eight seconds, which is terrible. Set this to two, and it will allow a a lot less latency between what you're doing and what your viewers are seeing, so you can keep your chat on top. Uh, preset, you want to set this to max quality, profile, and high. This just allows um, this program to transmit high quality, and it'll give it a higher priority in your task manager. Meaning a lot more of your computer resources will go through this program. Look ahead and psychovisual tuning. So look ahead and psychovisual tuning are two options that are kind of needed, especially if you do a lot of fast-paced gaming. Like if you're playing a racing game like Forza Horizon, or if you're playing Apex Legends or Fortnite or whatever, um, having both of those turned on basically means, so Look Ahead allows you to retain a lot of quality, and this also works with your B-frames, which we'll go over in a minute. So this allows you to retain quality during high impact moments. 
psychovisual tuning will basically make it so that have you ever seen it on your own stream where you're playing something really fast paced and there's a lot of blockiness a lot of jaggedness uh that's caused because of the fast motion the video bitrate because of how low the twitch bitrate is it can't always keep up because you you're only supposed to have 6000 bitrate that's not a lot for 1080p um, it would actually look a lot nicer if you streamed at 8,000, well, 6,000 in 720p, because 720p is a lower thing. But most people don't want to do that. They want to stream in 1080p. So, turn those both on. It basically allows you to retain a lot of your quality, even during fast motion moments. Uh, GPU set that to zero. There's zero point in doing that. You're already using the NVENC encoder anyway. This would just offload more onto your GPU, which you're going to use primarily for gaming. So, uh, and max B frames set this to four. So max B frames in of themselves basically are the frames where the stream is trying to catch up. So kind of like with keyframe interval, the B frames are, it's like four seconds of transmission that then look ahead in psychovisual tuning and then gonna clean up. So it basically allows you to preserve a lot of your quality and then transmit. Um, I hope I explained that well enough. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, I will leave in the description the exact descriptions of I'll write it out. I'm much better at writing than I am speaking about this stuff um, I'll write out and put them in the description of the video or I'll pin a comment in the comment section So you guys truly understand what each of those means Now like it. This is it by the way for options. There's no more settings so You may be wondering why let's say two different streamers have two different nvidia graphics cards and one looks nicer than the other how is that well unlike with the amd encoder where a lot of the quality comes from the settings with nvidia nvenc it comes from what kind of graphics card you're using the more recent the more powerful graphics card the better your quality is going to be overall so say me for example right i run an rtx 2060 oc ventus which is a six gigabyte rtx and it does decent quality at that too it's pretty good at quality um, but say, for example, if you were running like a 1060, you're going to get a lot less even with the same settings because of how NVENC works. The more powerful the graphics card, the more powerful the stream is going to look. Don't get me wrong, on Twitch, you're pretty much never going to get perfect quality unless you're a partner because of the bitrate lock, like the bitrate limit you're locked to. Um, with such a low bitrate, you're always going to have some kind of ruggedness. It, it doesn't matter what graphics card you use. You could have like the latest 4090 and you would still see jaggies on occasion. So now we've gone over that, I hope you guys understand how the NVIDIA NVENC encoder works. Like I said, for those other options, that if you didn't understand how I explained it, I will leave them in a pinned comment at the top of the video. Don't forget to turn on the notifications to be notified of all uploads and live streams, because I do live stream here on YouTube uh, pretty much every day. And I hope to see you guys in the next one. Let me know in the comments down below if this helped you at all. Take care, guys. Hey everyone, thank you for watching today's video. Above is a preview of the previous upload, and if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe please, because we're trying to grow on the platform. Don't forget to turn on the notification bell to be notified of all uploads and live streams. And if you liked the video, why not leave it a like? It really does help other people to find my videos, and don't forget to comment down below on any content you want to see, or what you thought about this video specifically. Let me know, and I will see you guys in the next one.